Okay. Welcome to Travel's Table. Welcome. Um, yes. And this week we're all in green again because we're making, well actually we're making a couple of things this week, but this first one we're making, this first cake we're making is for the leader of FT Island. FT Island. Now their colors are are no, sunshine it's not just FT Island. It's for the no, leader. No, wait. Of FT That's why I said their colors are are sunshine yellow and black for you know their fan colors, whatever. But this man is the leader, and he plays the guitar and he does a bunch of other stuff too. That's really he good. Plays the piano. And he can sing too. Mm. Okay. And his favorite colors are green. So we did. Green, bling. Okay, so we're going to make him a cake. And um, like a couple other members of the band, he likes caramel macchiatos also. So we're making... Um, to go inside the cake. To go inside the cake, we're going to make a caramel icing. We're going to make it a little bit... A caramel filling and icing. And we're going to make it a little different than we did last time. So we're going to show you how we're going to do it, right? Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make this um, caramel filling, mm -hmm. and what we have to begin with is a cup of packed um, dark brown. brown sugar. Okay, so you put that in there. <laughs> Somebody's talking to us over there. Here, uh, put that in there. <laughs> Good luck getting it out. I packed it good. Good I job. got it. So now, there it is. In the pan. This is a two-quart saucepan. And this is six ounces of heavy cream. Oh, please. Okay, that's good enough. I get to lick it anyway later. And five tablespoons of lightly salted butter. You, it might be a good idea Secret to life. And what she's going to do is she's going to bring that to a boil, right? Right. It says over medium heat. Ain't nobody got time for that. Because, once again, we don't know what we're doing, but we're going to do it anyway. We don't want to mess up the cream. Are you sure you No, don't we don't want to mess up the cream. You want it over medium heat. Okay. Like that? That's low. Here, let me help you a little bit. Wait a minute. Which way am I going? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> over there, the cameraman sneering at me. You know, like that. So mix that all up and get it pretty in and show everybody. And of course if I don't stand here and watch this happen, you know. How terribly I could time lapse this just make her like stir that like a freaking <laughs> speedboat. Oh. In self, the In self elevator oh, music in here. Yes. <laughs> Oh, you can put some of that, I pray, so <laughs> in there, because that's what we're going to be doing is praying that it works. We could, we could do FP Island song prayer in there, pray in there. Almost there. So you want to mix the cream and the butter and the sugar until it's all happy. And this is going to take a month because it has to come to a boil with you strain. That's why you're doing it and not me. Ain't it pretty? Doesn't it look yummy? It looks like hot cocoa. It kind of does. You get it in the light though, it's going to be a more like caramel. caramel color. It'll get more more light than that. And meanwhile, instead of me standing here and overseeing this and making everybody nervous, I'm going to go sift some uh, powdered sugar to pour this into and mix up to make the icing. Now that it's bubbling, take the, you don't have to stir anymore. Put the timer on for two minutes and leave it alone. It is on for two minutes. Leave it alone. We're going to let it boil for two minutes. How do I set this? Right there's fine. There's fine. And so, just leave it. It's going to boil for two minutes. It looks so tasty. Okay, we're going to remove it from the heat now. See, it's all done. And we're going to sit here until it gets cool. It's going to cool down to the touch before we do our next step. Okay, 
we've got to, as soon as that's all cooled off, we're going to mix it with two cups of powdered sugar. And they said it will frost a full 8 inch cake. We'll see if it's enough for, our, for what we need. If not, we'll just make another batch. We we'll sift it like this, and then we measure it. Spoon it into a cup, measure two cups, and put it in our mixing bowl. Okay, well, here's the sifted sugar, and we're going to put it in here. There's one cup, and we're going to see if we can make another cup here. I don't know where my measuring thing went. That looks like a cup of tea. Actually, I kind of measured it to begin with, but I didn't know. Okay. Here's our two cups of powdered sugar. What are we using them for? What? <laughs> what are we using them for? Uh, the caramel has to go in it. And we're going to mix our beautiful We're going to mix our, our caramel sauce. Can you see it? Mm. That is um, semi-cooled. It's supposed to be pretty cool. Oh, look at Anyway, that. and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this started and pour it over it slowly while I'm mixing it. We're going to try this. I don't know what I'm doing. take a while. Um, in the comments somebody said five minutes so we'll be back. This isn't really the consistency I kind of I wanted but it will work real well for filling and it tastes really good. Okay I had to add more cream so uh, we're gonna go ahead and fill and frost this, dirty frost this. If you can't tell what it is can you see it? Okay um, we'll tell you in a little bit, but it has to do with one of Jung Hoon's um, most favorite, most favorite in the whole wide things world. that he loves. So we're going to attempt to make it, and we're going to use sorry this. Sorry if it doesn't turn out right. We love you. Hey, we we don't know what we're doing. We're going to do it anyway. So we're going to fill and frost this with it, and put it put it back in the freezer until we get the rest of the parts ready, and and we can. Sculpt it so it actually looks like what we want it to be. And then we'll finish up. I don't know how far I can go with this. Whoa! Well, wow, it only really, that's, that's, yeah, that's basically right. where it is, so that's yeah. good enough. Because um, we're going to need this for that. Probably not this one. You know what? I probably should put two here for that. Well, I was wanting to talk about that. I did, I thought. Yeah, go for it. Whichever lane you think you can. Hey, don't tear it up now. Don't let some air as out. You, just... As you can see, Jams is an expert at slowly stabbing people. <laughs> jamming things? I'm an expert at jamming things? Meemaw. <laughs> Speaking of don't tear it up. <laughs> Frozen still? Is that what it is? is it I'm trouble? supposed to know this. The proper, the appropriate uh, answer to that is like, cut off. <laughs> what? Just put the other one in. We'll yeah. deal with that one in a minute. There's a there's a ball pin hammer in the other room. There is. I may need it. No, because the straw goes sideways. It's like a vampire. You have to drive stakes into it. I just realized I have to have these two for the head. Anyways. I think it's not getting through this one is what it is. How do I not? That's what it looks like. How'd you get that one in? I just, it just 
it, it like just it. went in. Check the hole over here so it doesn't go. This is so it doesn't fall apart. See? The staff have made a suggestion. <laughs> I got a suggestion. I'm going to get that knife out before I hurt myself. These two aren't going to go in. And hammering that one just went in there. The staff have made the second suggestion. <laughs> Let's see what happened here. I'm going to try and pull it out now. <clears throat> There's also a drill in the other room if you have to pre-drill your holes. <laughs> Ooh, that's cold. I yeah, I, I may have to pre-drill the house. It being frozen and how frozen no, it had it had stuff in it and it wasn't shoving it, it any was farther up. Packed. Seriously? Well, that's further than it was last time. I'm sure it's closer to where it belongs. I have seen them use a hammer and a dowel, yes. But I was hopeful. Well, and that's the other problem, too, is there's no place for that air to go or anything else. You can't... Scissors. You can cut them off there and just... Mm. No, I'm going to go ahead and... Except I need these. It's a little off the top. Snippy, snippy. Unicky. <laughs> <laughs> unicky, unicky. Snippy, snippy, say. These are the ones we don't want to go all the way down because we have to um, put them up through that head, too. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. Do you want it up through the head, or do you want the head to fall? <laughs> okay. I'm telling you, this is far as it's Just leave the poor things alone. They're far enough in. Well. Yes, Wolverine? You know what would really, really make me feel really weird is if I lifted this up and saw them down <laughs> trying to put it through that. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. And that's how that's done. It is a surgery. Vampire. <laughs> Those are not, they, the whole thing may fall over, but it won't do it on some. Now this has to be sculpted, so I don't know if I should sculpt it separately and then put it on. Probably. Would you like me to put that in the trash for you? I don't know if I'm going to need it later. do mess with me. Now, if you look at you look this, please. Okay, I'm looking. See how oh, that is? Mm. They get you in. And so this has to be. Think about that. Mm -hmm. Is that going to be tall enough? Mm -hmm. It's about the size of your head. I need this center part probably another. <laughs> if you get what I'm saying, up. From what I'm seeing there. <laughs> so we're gonna have to cook another. No, I'm gonna sculpt because I can make this smaller. No, I don't know. I'm telling you, it needs to be up one more. Or I need to take that one off and make it smaller. And no, I don't want to do that. Though. And we'll be back when we have more material. Yes, we will be back when we have more cake. <laughs>
Jams! Just leave, you don't want that out for the dinner? No. You sure? Because this does. Where? I took it. it comes out here. It does. It comes yeah, but out. not like that. Then I have to do this. Correct? No. <laughs> no, that, that kind of looks like a, a little bit like an Eastern Easter Island head from this uh, this angle. No, because the nose is on this front part here. It's not up there. It's here, and this bubbles out. Well, I think it comes up a little higher. Okay, to do that. then you're going to have to cut that in half. And oh, I guess not. No, it's so not. It Never mind. Bubbles. I'll leave that one later. Okay. So those are kind of, and then where's the straws? Over there. So we can hurt ourselves again. Did I already? No, I didn't. Then I have to carve this to make it look like, and who knows what it's going to look like when I'm done. Because. Anybody have a guess? Magic. Magic what? Magic, 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 magic. Wait a minute, let me see how far down I gotta go with that. Before we try to go through the cutting board again. Oh. It just didn't go all the way last time. Well, I'm gonna make rice krispies for my thing. That's there. right, you guys whisper your dark secrets over in the corner. Yes. I just, she's telling me something I don't want to, don't want to divulge yet. Do. No, I was just saying, you see what it looks like with it on it. I just, I'm going to have to deal with that, so I'm going to press it down and cut it. Hey! I killed it. Like most, most things in life. <laughs> okay, now what Can't I'm going to do. Can't deal with it, just cut it out. Yeah. Push it down first. <laughs> I don't want to dirty ice everything because I'm going to carve it. And as soon as it gets nice and frozen, aren't I? What are you doing? Oh, are you afraid of me or something? I was too close. <laughs> Almost cut your elbow in her gob. Should yeah. I go ahead and, and stick it on top? We could try it. Oh my gosh. Is it just me or is it? Is it what? Is it leaning a little bit? It's leaning this way, but I think it'll be okay anyways. What? Nope. No, no what? Um, question. Answer. So you need an entire pizza. What? Arms? The arms are going to be made out of Rice Krispie squares. Oh, as well, okay. All right. We're going to put some arms on this. We're going to sculpt it first. So we're going to put some arms on it for Rice Krispie squares. Uh, Rice Krispie squares. Made out of and Rice Krispie And feet made out can, of Rice Krispie squares. Can you say Rice Krispie squares one more time? I don't think we caught it. Rice Krispie squares. Rice right. Krispie squares. <laughs> you know, Rice Krispie squares. Rice Krispie squares. Shut up. Anyway. Technical gonna, difficulties here. We're going to do this, and it's going to be a seated brick bear when we're done. It's going to have ears and arms and... <laughs> Hell <of a> time! <laughs> okay, let me just move that out of the way. Time we're to switch the decal. We're going to sculpt it and make it pretty. <laughs> I, I, just push it. Well, I thought you okay. wanted them to guess what it was. I did, but I just... From this, who's going to get that? Guess. Guess. Pretty I would show you a picture, but it's really little. And, then, and it's standing. See our itty bitty picture? Yep, that's a picture. That's a picture. And this one didn't turn out very well, but it's seated. We're going to make. Yep, what we're going to do is make an FT Island brick bear. Because. Why? Because. Why? Because this man, John Hoon, right? Is that his name? Choi Che. How do they pronounce that? I've heard it pronounced three different ways. Here in America, it would be Choi because the OI, Che Jong Hoon, okay, likes brick bears. 
and he is the leader of the of FT Island. He's 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 the head honcho. He's the he's yeah. So we're going to make and this also time. according to him, the prettiest one. Yes, he's the prettiest one. Really? That's what he says. I love you, John Coon, but I got my own opinions. Okay. Now he, we're gonna. He said he was wondering why they chose him as as leader, and he said, right. "Must be because the pretty of face. my face, because I'm pretty." No, because he's multi talented as well. He is. Okay, it really is. So this this may be the finished product. We're gonna attempt to finish this and make it. Well, oh, I I would hope. <laughs> and, I may uh, just. If, if one more thing gets thrown on the floor, I, then... I, I would, I would ho hope it gets a little bit more skin than it has. Well, we're going to put arms and feet on it, and, and we're going to and sculpt it. In. And it's going to say FT, and then on the back it's going to say FT Island. It's going to be all pretty. Those are hearts. Yes. Anyway. You do it? No. Well, okay, you learn something new, don't you? Some of us do. So that's all for right now from uh, Travel's Table where we part have one. no idea what we're doing, but we're going to do it anyway. This is part one of John Coon's cake, cake. Mm -hmm. for his birthday. And we'll see you next time when we finish it up and set it on fire. <laughs> and yeah, set this and one sing. on fire too? We do, every one of them. I, I don't think you're making cakes. I think you're making funeral pyres. No, no, no. I was thinking <laughs> memorial cakes or something. You know, it has no skin. Die. You light it on fire. It's so. a bonfire. Get it right. <laughs> All right. So that's it, yo. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Love, Love you. you. Mwah. <laughs>